Hi, this is a reading for The Collective. My name is Elle, thank you for being here. Do like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing each and every person who comes to the reading with a message from you. All right, so uh, it looks like some of you, your friends feel like you are um, emotionally withdrawn, shut off, um, and kind of playing the in-between. You don't know if it's really, the friendship is really over or um, if you want to go back to it, whatever happened between you and a friend. There could have been a fallout or, or somebody feels like you're kind of isolating yourself. You know, you're alienated from the group, okay? Um, and they don't know how to reel you back in or they don't know why you are... Um, pulling away. They have an idea, suspicion, but not necessarily you haven't talked to them about why. Um, and then there's also a love partner here who um, highly manipulative. They have been playing mental games from the inception, from the, the, the start, the time you met this person, they were lying to you. They were uh, not only just lying, but saying things that would then down the line boggle your mind you would go back to like why did they say this when it was really this so it always keeps you tied to them it always keeps you wondering uh it, there is always an air of mystery and uh suspicion with them and and um maybe even uh for some of you kind of um you know, they, I don't know if they want it to seem more exciting or fun. It seems as if this person feels like this is a game. Playing with you, playing with your heart is a game. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see. Uh, let's talk about you and your friends. All right. Ooh, this one to come out. Ace of Cups. Um, Self-love, worth. You're no longer focused on um, trying to please everybody else. You also could just be kind of remaking, remodeling yourself to the world. You know, like, look, I used to be a people pleaser, but guess who I'm going to please now? Me and only me. I'm going to put me first. I'm not going to be concerned about other people's uh, feelings and trying to morph or change anything about me so that we can continue to be friends. If it's, if I have to do that, then we don't need to be friends. Also, some of you have found, um, spirituality, religion, and it's made you question yourself and what you bring to, you know, relationships. Um, maybe how you're a giver, how you're so open, how you, um, you know, you easily emotionally connect. Maybe you give your emotions without others having earned them here with the Ace of Cups in terms of friendship. You also could be finding a new friend or a new love for, let's see what else. The nine of wands. Yeah. You're not sure if you want to remain friends with whomever this is. It seems as if you guys had, are on the outs where you're both wondering like, should we fight for this connection or just leave it alone? Because, um, it's a lot going on here, you know? Um, it's been a rocky situation. They've said things, I've said things, they've done things, I've done things. I feel like I'm the scapegoat, the scapegoat. I've been taken for granted. I don't know if I wanna re-engage or engage at all. If I should leave this alone and just move forward, find new friend group, um, or, you know, continue. There's also a lot of history here, okay? Um, you're not fully committed. You're not sure if someone is completely loyal to you in terms of your friends. Okay, ooh, you seen that card wanted to pop out. The Queen of Wands. So you get a lot of attention, okay? Um, you get a lot of people attracted to you. Some of you are also just trying to focus on your life purpose, why are you here? You're understanding that you get a lot of attention, a lot of eyes are on you, a lot of eyes are always on you. Um, a lot of people are attracted to your charisma, uh, your spunk your uh, fun side, uh, you're able to do so many different things. You're um, able to just have an idea, go after the idea, just make things happen for yourself. Um, 
You also could be well dressed, uh, well spoken, funny. Um, people see you know you know how to say something and then do it. You, you go right after it. You know you don't waste your time with trying to figure out. You know, figure out if I should or if I shouldn't. You don't question yourself. You don't second guess yourself. Uh, your friends may see you as very confident too. Um, and that kind of can scare others. Let's see what's going on here. Um, yeah, the world. So you, you may feel like, look, this uh, this friend group or this friendship might, it, it, it needs to grow, have growth and change or it needs to end. We have gone full circle in something. Um, maybe we have even outgrown each other. Or you have outgrown a circle of friends. Um, you don't see eye to eye with them. There is no commonality. There's nothing in common. There is um, no reason to keep at this thing. You don't lose anything by cutting off the friendship. And you don't gain anything by keeping it. It is neutral at best. It is... Um, you know, no consequence to you, you know, um, but there needs to be change. The 10 of pentacles, you feel like this person, um, somebody feels like you're a long-term person. Okay. They want you in their life for a very long time. Um, and you also could have had this friend for a very long time. You could have grown up with them. You feel like they are family, but at the same time, you feel like there is an e energy of being out, having outgrown them. You know, you've outgrown the circle. Um, and you're only committed to the relationship because there is time between the two of you, you know, but time won't give you time, right? Time makes people feel like they have something real. When all they really have is time. So. With the Ten of Pentacles here, you have to really think about, you know, can you take this person with you? Do you want to take this person with you? Whatever has transpired between the two of you, it just seems as if there's a lack of commitment and trust. Also, some of you have, you know, gained more self-esteem in terms of dealing with friend and friend groups, especially if this is like a, a ladies group, women, a group of women. What's the best advice for our collective with this friend group, the seven of pentacles, um, be passive in your approach to this relationship. Um, do very little, be passive in your approach in terms of putting in any more effort. You've done the work here. You've planted your seed. If it's going to be, it will be. There has been a period of no activity between the two of you or the, the, the lot of you, um, because you just are once again, unsure, unclear, you're frustrated with how things are turning out, but you also feel like it isn't over or both parties feels like it's not over. It says persevere through this. Oh, okay. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Um, Last card of advice in terms of friends, in terms of friends for the collective. Last card of advice. The full card. Um, yeah. So be passive, be carefree. Take your feelings out of this. Accept people at face value. What they show you is what is what it is. It is real. It is nothing else. It's nothing more and it's nothing less. Um, understand that, uh, people are not changing, you know, people aren't, everybody is not ever changing. You know, some people are, it is what it is. Uh, this is their personality. Uh, again, just be carefree, have fun with this. Um, try to not make everything. So, uh, everything is not a fatality. Just because it happened doesn't mean that the relationship, the friendship needs to be over. It just means that you need to kind of uh, change, shift how you deal with this certain person, this certain group of women or friends, siblings or, or close. You know, some of you, your uh, family members, cousins, you know, they are your friends. 
however you deal with these people, however you communicate with them, it needs to be changed. You need to have some change here. Um, be carefree. Um, maybe even reconcile with some friend group. Uh, don't expect expectations. Throw them out of the window. Just move with the flow. Go with the flow. Um, and, and that's the advice there for in terms of friend groups. Uh, it seems as if there's like lack of um, trust. Okay. Uh, it, it feels as if you can't be intimate with this person anymore. You cannot tell them your secrets. You, you don't trust them. And, and maybe they don't trust you. Uh, but there's lack of trust here. So there is a group of people or just two people dealing with each other on the surface. And the cards say that, you know, for now, you might just have to keep that up. You don't have to get rid of the relationship, but do know how to deal in this relationship. So let's see about um, love partner. What's going on here? And love for my collective. Whoa. All right. So the six of coin and the sun card. All right. So um, it says the universe uh, is glad that you're on the right path now. You're on the right. Uh, you're in alignment with the universe right now, which is good. Okay. I'm trying to get this right because how I see it is it's uh, crooked, but how you guys see it is straight. Anyway, um, you're in alignment with the universe and uh, with the six of pentacles here, you might get a relationship where there is equal give and take, or you might be uh, realizing that somebody is breadcrumbing you, giving you just enough to string you along. Okay. The 10 of wands. Um, yeah. You, you could be enlightened to, that energy that you are being taken uh, for granted, that you are being strung along, uh, that this person will disappoint you. Great disappointment. Um, that there is a struggle here. That something in this relationship needs to be examined. Somebody is not truthful. Um, that maybe this is, this is the fullness of the relationship. This is what you're going to get out of it. There's nothing else. When something is full, it is full. There's, you cannot, you don't look for anything else out of this connection. The three of coin, uh, it could be, there is indication of a third party, or this could just be a relationship that never really turned into a relationship. Just maybe friends with benefits, a uh, really close friend. Uh, it could be third party. This is somebody who just didn't want significant. They didn't want the status change. They didn't want to go to the four of pentacles where maybe you guys were building towards, you know, uh, a relationship or it was solid, a solid relationship. Uh, this person could have even um, kind of went in and out between you and someone else. This relationship has been in a place of stagnancy and uh, no growth or no turning over so that now somebody doesn't even feel like it has the opportunity for growth. It's been here so long that it's going to be hard to get out of this barren place. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. The only way it is, is somebody makes some irrevocable change. They got to get rid of something or somebody else. Yeah, they have to complete a cycle here. But they're scared shitless to do that with the Nine of Swords and the Knave of Swords. You got so many swords here. So this is somebody who, um, first of all, they're worried about their uh, reputation and they're also worried about money. They're worried about this big move. Where will it land them? How will their fortune, how will they turn out? How will their fortune turn out? So somebody won't make a change in terms of making you the number one person, getting rid of this other person because they don't know what their money is going to look like if they leave or what their assets is, is going to look like or what the division of uh, their assets and money will be. Um, someone also just doesn't want to go through with that. So they, they keep it here, the four of pentacles. Uh, they just keep the relationship 
uh, stuck, stagnant, toxic to where there's no growth. If something is toxic, it's not good for you. It is, it is killing you. It is um, slowly killing you it, or it could be, you know, quick, but uh, it is not good. It is not um, a place where there is uh, abundance um, or, or growth or fruitfulness. So somebody is keeping the relationship here because of money, prestige, relate, uh, reputation, and um, yeah, money, reputation. They're not sure about their fortune. They're not sure about how they can uh, move in a, a real relationship with you or if they would ever, if they would ever be able to. Someone's definitely worried about money. Maybe having less than, um, or, or they don't have enough in terms of making this big move with you. Somebody could be kind of pushing you away because it is a money issue related to them. It has nothing to do with you with the 10 of wands. There could be a lot of work, a lot of back breaking work that they need to do to get their money situation up with all these swords here is definitely money. And then we have all the pentacles, definitely money. So somebody can make a change in love because of money. What's the advice here for the collective? What's the advice in terms of the relationship? What's the advice? Okay, like I wanted to come out. The tower, let the tower fall. Let it, let it just crumble. Let this just fall down. You know, um, this, this situation has historical value. You've heard this before. This person has said this before. Or they had hinted toward this before. Yeah, this person could already be married. They're not sure or they don't know how to get out of their marriage. They already have a lot established. They just don't know how to, how that's gonna look to depart from it, to separate from it. With the tower here, it says all of a sudden, you know, um, what is the tower? What is the tower? All of a sudden, there could be upheaval. Things could fall apart. Um, the universe is going to bring something in where uh, <clears throat> the five of cups, all of a sudden, someone is going to feel your loss, feel the grief, the disappointment of, of having something taken from them. And it could be you. It could be that the other person finds out about a relationship, but it definitely could be uh, all of a sudden a person is feeling grief. They're feeling the loss of. All of a sudden they understand. Uh, now they don't know how to come back to you. What is this about? Yeah, the Hierophant. All of a sudden they understand that um, they had someone who, uh, it could have been great chemistry here. All of a sudden this person, they may realize that they need to go get some help with their emotions. The Eight of Wands showing up. They may even want to talk to you. They want to do something with you. They. They're infatuated with the idea of having you. They want to speak their intentions to you, just not knowing how to go about it. They want the relationship back with you. They want to have reunion with you. They want to stay in connection with you, but it seems as if they want to do very little in order to maintain the relationship. They just want you to know how they feel. I miss you. I love you. Stay. Now I miss you. I love you. I'm going to change. We're going to make this happen. And this is how I'm going to do it. And this is when, and you know, no, I love you. I miss you. And that should be enough for you to stay or stick around or hang in there or allow, um, ill treatment or just breadcrumbing. I think if you have separated from this person, now they understand they're listening to that inner voice. They may want to come to you very quickly. Okay. And this person wants to have sex with you. They feel like you are 
sorry guys, it is Thanksgiving. I do have people in the home. They feel like you are a soulmate. Yeah, they feel like you're a soulmate. And you guys have gone through this over and over again. They, they want you in their life forever. You are the other woman for some of you. They don't want this to end. They're in love with you, but also in love with someone else. Yeah. Very interesting energy in terms of a relationship. Somebody sticking around for money. Uh, they feel like they can't make that move. All of a sudden, they, they're going to want you back and whatever they want, they say to you, they feel like that should bring some conclusion to the separation and you should come back to them. If you feel that way, then by all means, jump back in. But do know that this person, there are no offers here. Zero. No nights of nothing. Night of cups, night of nothing. They just want you to know what the situation is and you should be okay with it and just come on back home. So this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonated for someone out there. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Should I still be friends with this person? Should I allow this romantic partner back into my life? Should I stay? Should I go? You can ask questions like that by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link. If you feel moved to, you could donate to the channel. You can also catch me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.